electrophilic addition to asymmetrical alkenes. If you've not seen the mechanism for the electrophilic addition to alkenes, you may want to have a look at that video. We're going to have a look at the electrophilic addition to propene using hydrogen bromide, HBr. Remember, HBr is a polar electrophile. Bromine is more electronegative, so it has a delta minus. Hydrogen is more delta positive, so it has a delta plus. And we've got two options. We can join the hydrogen to the first or second carbon on either side of the double bond. Let's see what happens if we join it to the first carbon. The mechanism is just the same. We take the carbon-carbon double bond, form the bonds of the hydrogen, break the HBr bond, and what do we form? Well, that first carbon now has three hydrogens attached to it. The second carbon still only has one hydrogen, and the third carbon has its three hydrogens attached. So there's a positive charge on that middle carbon. That bromide ion that was formed is going to be attracted to the positive carbon atom, forming a bond to it, meaning that our product is going to be 2-bromopropane. But there was another alternative. We didn't have to join that hydrogen to the first carbon. We could join it to the second carbon. Let's look what happens if we do that. So start again with propene. We're going to react it again with hydrogen bromide. But we're looking at a different alternative. We're going to join that hydrogen to the carbon on the other side of the double bond. The mechanism is exactly the same. We take the electrons from one of the carbon-carbon double bonds form the bond of the hydrogen, break the HBr bond, and we're going to form another carbocation intermediate, but this time the positive charge is going to land on the first carbon, so it only has two hydrogens attached. Again, the bromide ion, negatively charged, attacks the positive carbocation, forms a bond to it, so our product is going to be one bromopropane. Both of these reactions are possible, so which one is favoured? Which one's going to be the main reaction? We're trying to work out the major and minor products here, and we need to look at the carbocation intermediates to answer that. We need to work out which one is primary, secondary, or tertiary. And the way to do that is to look at the carbon that's got the positive charge on it. So in that bottom one, the positive charge is on the first carbon. On the top one, the positive charge is in the middle. The alkyl groups that are joined to that carbon atom push electrons down the, down the bond. It's called the positive inductive effect, and that electron pushing stabilizes a positive charge. The top molecule is a secondary carbocation. The bottom one's a primary carbocation. The top one is more stable because the electrons are being pushed from both directions onto the positive charge stabilizing it. So our major product is going to be 2-bromopropane.